Section 17 of Tales of Old Japan. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Stephanie Lee. Tales of Old Japan by Lord Redesdale. Section 17 The Accomplished and Lucky Tea Kettle. A long time ago, at a temple called Morinji in the province of Joshiu, there was an old tea kettle. One day, when the priest of the temple was about to hang it over the hearth to boil the water for his tea, to his amazement, the kettle all of a sudden put forth the head and tail of a badger. What a wonderful kettle! To come out all over fur! The priest, thunderstruck, called in the novices of the temple to see the sight, and whilst they were stupidly staring, one suggesting one thing and another, the kettle, jumping up into the air, began flying about the room. More astonished than ever, the priest and his pupils tried to pursue it but no thief or cat was ever half so sharp as this wonderful badger kettle at last however they managed to knock it down and secure it and holding it in with their united efforts they forced it into a box intending to carry it off and throw it away in some distant place so that they might be no more plagued by the goblin for this day their troubles were over but as luck would have it the tinker who was in the habit of working for the temple called in and the priest suddenly bethought him that it was a pity to throw the kettle away for nothing and that he might as well get a trifle for it no matter how small so he brought out the kettle which had resumed its former shape and had got rid of its head and tail and showed it to the tinker when the tinker saw the kettle he offered twenty copper coins for it and the priest was only too glad to close the bargain and be rid of his troublesome piece of furniture but the tinker trudged off home with his pack and his new purchase that night as he lay asleep he heard a strange noise near his pillow so he peeped out from under the bedclothes and there he saw the kettle that he had bought in the temple covered with fur and walking about on four legs the tinker started up in a fright to see what it could all mean when all of a sudden the kettle resumed its former shape this happened over and over again until at last the tinker showed the tea kettle to a friend of his who said this is certainly an accomplished and lucky tea kettle you should take it about as a show with songs and accompaniments of musical instruments and make it dance and walk on the tightrope the tinker thinking this good advice made arrangements with the showman and set up an exhibition the noise of the kettle's performances soon spread abroad until even the princes of the land sent to order the tinker to come to them and he grew rich beyond all his expectations even the princesses too and the great ladies of the court took great delight in the dancing kettle so that no sooner had it shown its tricks in one place than it was time for them to keep some other engagement at last the tinker grew so rich that he took the kettle back to the temple where it was laid up as a precious treasure and worshipped as a saint End of section seventeen.